Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to the city of Wakefield. Now, today I'm in a very small village, which is nice and circular, so it's easy to walk around, bonus. So it won't take me very long to do. And this could end up being quite a short video with quite an extensive picture bit. And the reason for that is because of what else these parish boundaries cover. As well as this village, they cover a huge area, which is home to the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. Now on the drive uh, up here, I noticed there were some signs outside the Sculpture Park at the main entrance telling me that you have to pre-book. Uh, now I've been to the Sculpture Park before, and I thought I could just drive in because that's how it always used to be pre-COVID. It might be different now. So hopefully I'll get in there. If I don't, it's not a big deal because I have got uh, some pictures of my last visit to the sculpture park, which I can put into today's picture bit. So hopefully all will be okay. <laughs> Let's go and film this village first. This is West Breton. So the sign saying village hall and church pointed me across the car park of the village hall towards the church but I can't actually see it uh, unless it's that building there possibly. I'll go and have a look. church being the other side of the main road here is that it would, it would have taken me away from the school which is why I went back through the village hall and then back onto the A637 this way okay now to go down the A637 because it's going to take us towards Yorkshire Sculpture Park and past a large memorial on the way
So you might recall in the South Hindley video that that mentioned the West Yorkshire cycle route, which goes around almost the perimeter of the entire county. It comes through here as well. There's a blue sign saying West Yorkshire cycle route outside the manor house. Right, my next job is to walk down Park Lane. Now, if you follow Park Lane all the way to the end, you do end up in the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. So let's see if I can get into it. like it was a well at some point. What do you think? Certainly got all the hallmarks. This is the kind of structure you see in Derbyshire if you remember places like Bonsall. There is still a hole in the floor there. I wonder, was this a well, West Breton locals? So as I thought, I'm here at the, the Park Lane entrance to Yorkshire Sculpture Park. And as you can see, things have changed since I last came here because I can't get in now without a ticket. The, uh, the way it used to be the last time I came here was you just paid for the car park and you were able to wander around the grounds and around all the sculptures and Breton Hall and things like that completely free of charge. The only thing you literally paid for was the car park. But I would imagine seeing as COVID has had an effect on the world, uh, that that is now different. And of course, now you have to have a ticket to get into the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, which is a massive shame for this video because there are some fantastic things in that, in that sculpture park. I can tell you for a fact that there are. And just to prove that, we're gonna to go to today's picture bit now, uh, which is gonna include a lot of pictures uh, that I took myself the last time I came here.
Okay, to finish this one off, I've come back to the War Memorial at the junction of Park Lane and the A637. And it's worth noting that the entrance to the Yorkshire Scotch Park that we were at just now was the Park Lane entrance. The main entrance is off the A637, that way back towards Barnsley, just in case you're planning a visit yourself. It's a bit of a shame I can't get in at the moment, um, but there's nothing I can do about it if it's an advanced booking system only not really much I can do uh, but uh, anyone out there who is looking to come to the Yorkshire Sculpture Park on the back of watching this video just be aware you will need an advanced ticket to get in and that's it that's the parish of West Breton 22 down now in Wakefield we've only got eight to go and it only seems like yesterday that I was starting Wakefield I've gone through it quite quickly I'm quite proud of myself to be honest so there's eight left and the eight that are left are probably eight of the biggest. So uh, if you're enjoying this Wakefield series, don't forget to tune in next Sunday to see where I've gone for you next week. With eight to go, it's gonna be a big one. <laughs> so this has been the Parish of West Breton and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.